I made a run in behind hoping that she saw it and she knew ahead of time what I was going to do because of the experience we've had, which I think helped a ton. I knew really where she was, but I was like, she's probably going to be in that pocket right there and I kind of just scooped it and she finished it. That kind of chemistry, that kind of knowing somebody, that kind of second nature type movement, it, it makes sense. Together again, in a journey that's had its twists and turns since the fifth grade, USC senior Haley Height and redshirt junior Natalie Jacobs have one of the most enduring bonds in college sports today. To have those two off the field, I mean, there's an energy, there's a light, there's always laughs, there's always music, there's always uh, Disney. Um, they're both faith-filled people. Um, they're just good people, good energy. They're always looking for another opportunity to hang out, to be around each other, to bring their, their teammates in. Um, they're just fun. The two were close friends in elementary and middle school. Then, Natalie's national team commitments kept them apart on the pitch until senior year at Tesoro High. They were separated in college, Natalie to Notre Dame, where she was an all-ACC selection at forward, Haley to USC playing that same position. But reunited, there is no strife in their relationship. She's just fun to be around. Like She's brought so much like life and joy to the team. Um, and it's like cool that we literally compete for the same spot, but like I'm like cool with it. The good thing about Haley is she laughs at everything. So even if I have like a terrible joke, I know she's gonna laugh and I'll be like, okay, that was pretty funny. Like <laughs> she makes me feel better. Natalie's presence has made the top five ranked Trojans a contender to win their second NCAA title in three years. Haley was on that 2016 championship team, but was injured. Height's impact in the four years she has been on the team can be measured as much by her contributions off the field. I'm not like that starter and I recognize that, but like I have to, I've been trying to figure out like what is my role and um, how can you still be a leader if you're not making those significant impacts on the field and what does it look like to do that off the field? Uh, that, was, that was a tough time for her uh, because she was playing really, really well and our team, is, our team has gotten better, and so it's, it's harder for her to find the same kind of minutes, but in the same, in the same vein, she's, she's, she's staying focused, she's staying in it. Natalie, in turn, had her eye on USC after Notre Dame's season was complete. She has brought a level of excitement to the Trojan program. You know, when you get transfers, uh, oftentimes they're looking for something new, they're looking for something to um, just really get them you know, re-energized, not, not that it was a bad situation, but you know, changes, change can be bad or change can be good. Um, and for her, her energy, her light, her glow, um, it's just good energy. Right at the end, I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do after the fall. And I mean, I heard so many great things about this program and Kadani and Jason and the coach, all the coaching, coaching staff. And um, I love the style of play that they played here. The Trojans' mojo could not be better and behind forwards who are best friends, the 2018 season could be the exclamation point on a lifelong friendship.